Why do you not like Steve Harvey? He's Steve, never Harvey is a, Steve Harvey is a fake. He's another selfish sucker that it's all about him, ain't about nobody else. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So New York is just like Compton. So if this motherfucker got 30, and I love Trump. Trump is a businessman. He's a wasp. White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. So if you could vote, you would vote for him. I sure enough would we're in right now we're in black people in america we're in such a fucked up dilemma the best thing happened to us was trump trump is the first president ever attack white folks his first hundred days he put taxes and tariffs on white business if you don't bring it back to america he start charging them the, the the car companies bring that shit back home you know what i'm saying Anybody that made over a hundred million dollars, he was taxing them fifteen percent. He didn't give a because he's a one percenter. He's a billionaire. Everything other than that is a nigga to him, and he knows that blacks are the most valuable product in America. Before he was, we we was with Mike Tyson. We went to to, uh, to Trump Towers in New York, and. He laid everything out for Mike. Mike's room was $25,000 a night. Our room was $5,000. He had dinners. He had this. All he wanted to do was take pictures with Mike. He done done favors for P. Diddy. He done did uh, things for Jay-Z. But when he ran for president, he didn't call now one of them niggas out, huh? He, he, he's loyal to blacks. The only one that stood up for him was Don King. And, so and, then and, you and Steve Harvey. Well, he went down there. Steve, Steve Harvey, Harvey he had buck dancing. My what, what did, he went down there though. Later, after he yeah, didn't after do it. He won. Yeah, uh, uh, after he went down there to talk. Well, uh, Kim Kardashian did too. So uh, 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 Steve Harvey probably sucked his dick like Kim did. Damn. Oh, excuse me. Damn. I can't say that. Why do you not like Steve Harvey? He's Steve never Harvey is a, Steve Harvey is a fake. He's another selfish that it's all about him ain't about nobody else that book that he wrote anything like a man that his his bodyguard wrote the book first yeah i remember you saying that and his bodyguard was getting more publicity than him nephew tommy was getting more play than him and he's walked the uh uh tried, but nephew tommy stood his ground but everybody that come around steve harvey he tried it Put a shadow of him. He tried. Wow. He's not a good comedian. You don't like this comedy, Country, man. This comedy is whack as man. Thing. You don't like the his own, comedy at all. What? Nothing. He was so he was so whack when Kings of Comedy. He was at 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 the um, at the forum in the Kings of Comedy, right? And Cedric the Entertainer came. Uh, Bernie, uh, 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 D.L. Hughley and Bernie Mac, and he tried to to end up, and his shit was so whack. Dude, man, he told, he said, uh, oh, I don't care whether you think it's funny or not. You already paid the ticket, and a dude threw a bottle of Raymay at him. Damn. Like, nigga, get your ass off the stage. So people not trying to hear that. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear no damn Steve Harvey. I mean, wow. See, how, in, all the blacks that need jobs. How is he on the radio, got a family feud, got the Steve Harvey show? How is this one man? Why'd America elect one nigga? Just one nigga at a time. We ain't gonna have two or three. So how would you just take all these jobs? That's greed. Wow. I, I, got, I gotta ask him this. I seen you with a picture. You sent me a picture when, when Sauce Walker uh, had a, a, a issue. issue up in and in, in, in he came and y'all you and I think you it was you and Melvin on that picture I think huh. no it was just you on that picture Just you and me. him yeah and uh, here recently he was in the hood giving away money to the kids and he was carrying a rooster in uh, his hands yeah 
He had a rooster, a real he's, chick. He, he with the, he's, he's with that roof shit, one hundred percent. I know you probably ain't see. I'm a sure. No, too. I ain't seen that. But yeah, he, he I got to go down to Houston. You got to go down there and check him out. Yeah. How how impressed was you with that young cat and how he how he moves? You know, like, man. I mean, he came up in there. We was at at the pop up at the. We, he knew me. I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah. That's you my boy. I met him. I finally met him. Remember, I told him I yeah. met him in Vegas. He yeah. was cool as ever. Yeah, I, I, he like man. Oh gee, whoop the whoop the wham. Then. One of my boys in Texas told me that uh, we used to deal with his father back in Houston, back in the day when we was running dope in Houston, right? But yeah, he's 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 a straight up uh, 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 a one hundred kind. I heard a couple little rumors about him, but you hear anytime you're doing something, there's rumors. They're always gonna have rumors. And the Negroes is going can be bring, all good. Yeah, you got they got to bring something. Well, you ain't doing this and that. You ain't doing nothing either. Because if he was, you wouldn't be. Sitting here looking yeah. at him. Yeah, right there. He got that rooster in his hand. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and people not realizing it's a representation for some. Uh, they know. <laughs> yeah. that no need to know, no. Them know they know. Them on the other side, they looking hard. <laughs> Nigga can a rooster. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, he represented. He represented. Yes, sir. Yes. Man, when so he do that? Just here recently, like a, probably two days ago, okay. he gave the kids money, and you know he always do stuff. Giving man. back, I mean, you yeah, know, he it's, always do stuff for the it, community, man. Yeah, it's just it's just little things you can do that that change people's mind. And I don't I don't I don't advocate money because money is not the cure all. You know, it, it it's like putting a band aid on a leaking sore. Yeah, it, it only lasts for a minute, but it's it's just like with uh. Uh, do I, I always got to give Big U my uh, give you him always his talk gift. highly about Big U uh, 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 because he did something of uh, him Michael can say when you talk about another rich 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 the richest gangster on the West Coast is Michael Conception. Yeah, you always say that. And, and a wheelchair. Been in a wheelchair since 77 and got multi-millions. How he make his money? Where he make his money from? He got a little you know that that uh the Keebler elf that mm -hmm. got the gold, he, right. he got one of them. And it just brings him out. Every every time his money get low, he go get some more gold. Wow. That's not what I heard, but I'll leave there, it alone. Okay, see, what you, oh, allegedly, oh, allegedly, Lord. allegedly. Allegedly. Well, he ain't took no I, I heard he, what he's been doing, he's been doing it for a very long a time. A long time, since 78, 79. You know, and been successful at it. The same thing that Freeway did. He flooded different hoods and made it and turned it into where white America, Clive Davis, him started. Hanging. And then he did, we all in the same gang. Put Bloods and Crips together and made a rap song and got, man, put Kendrick down. Mm. You know, so he, he, he does different things. But Big Hugh, he went and got. I think was a hundred black boys. It's hard to find a hundred black boys in California. Hundred Mexicans everywhere. He got them together, took them down, and bought them suits. They had never had hard shoes before. Dressed them up, showed them how to tie a tie, and took them to a restaurant in Beverly Hills. They didn't know the soup spoon from the salad fork. From, but that little bit of impression, just going there and seeing that, made changes a person's mind. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.